guys and welcome to another video from Kyiv. Um, can you guys see the, the large flag in the background? So today um, it's a pretty cool video. We're going to be going to the Motherland Monument. Um, probably one of the top things to do here in Kyiv. Um, doing a little bit of research about the monument. It was built um, during the 70s. It's made out of steel. It actually opened up in 1981 and we're coming up close to it so i'll be reviewing it here a little bit shortly but honestly it's a pretty massive statue it's uh 80 90 meters tall if i remember correctly and it's just pretty like uh you see it on photos on the internet all the time but to actually see it in real life something else it's a little bit cloudy here in key but it's actually not such a bad thing because uh the past few days it's been like extremely hot so actually it's a little bit cooler now so we're getting up to it and i'm gonna you know turn around for you guys to see but before that again this was a pretty cool massive uh you know flag of ukraine so give me one moment so if you guys see that in the background right there we've arrived um probably gonna go in the museum i don't know how much there is to do in there but yeah we'll, we'll see what it is but basically yeah we're right here and then i'll show it to you guys again so basically i remember when i took the uh cab from the airport to the airbnb and as we were driving um, when we got near here this was one of the first things i've noticed uh the monument because it's just massive it kind of oversees the entire city and um it's pretty eye-opening even from a distance so now actually being up close uh it's just as cool so definitely gonna be taking quite a few photos again when you go to kiev this is one of the main things to do is to visit this monument um it's a little bit of a walk or you can take an uber or a cab you know i decided since it's not super hot i thought it was a great day to just walk after doing a workout and then this is another um monument back here of some army soldiers and again you have some I'm not sure what this is maybe from obviously with the star symbol ex-soviet union but yeah this is just a massive statue again i'll show it again right here as you guys see in the background so pretty much on the right side it's like a, obviously a sword on the left side it's a shield and you can tell on the shield they still have the Soviet symbol, which was quite interesting because in 2014-2015, uh, um, Ukraine began what they called a decommunization act, where basically they would be taking down any ex-former Soviet Union symbols from any um, street signs, structures, symbols. But I don't remember the reason, but they decided to keep it on this one. I don't know, maybe for the originality. But yeah, I think this is one of the few monuments where, you know, still have it. So I thought that was interesting because, again, this opened in 1981 uh, when Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union. And I believe one of the reasons why the statue was built was they wanted to make it compete with the Statue of Liberty back in, uh, back in the States. And they wanted to make it a little bit bigger. So, again, this was during the Cold War, during the 80s. Um, I don't know if that was the exact reason why it was built, but I think that was like one of the reasons too. And originally it was gonna be either bronze or gold, but they decided on stainless steel. So as you can tell, um, pretty much it's all silver. So that's a little bit about reading up on the history of the statue. And again, if you come to Kiev, this is probably one of the main, um, I guess, tourist things to do. Uh, it's in a, you know it's in an area where there's like a lot of old churches so it's a very cool part of the city and again it was a little bit of a walk from the city center which is where i'm staying at but still obviously well worth it um and you should obviously check it out so guys i think i'm going to wrap it up for this video um again talking to you from kiev ukraine uh thank you so much for watching the video please give it a like please give it a subscribe um thanks for supporting the channel and again visit here it's an awesome place so guys, with that, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.